Welcome everybody. For anybody who watches my channel regularly, regularly, you know that I don't feed my bees. I haven't fed my bees in over three seasons. But today I'm going to be product testing a Bee Smart feeder, in hive feeder, um, just for the heck of it. Like I said, I never feed my bees, but I think this is pretty cool just to give it a try. Not so much for me, but for anyone watching who maybe wants to uh, try out some of these in hive feeder types. And if I'm going to feed, I might as well do something a little goofy and fun for me. I'm going to feed them some Hawaiian punch. I'm going to make some blue honeycomb. I know that everything I'm saying here is going to start a really nice conversation in my comment section. So let me hear it. Put it down below. Especially if you have a channel with some content. I'd love that. It's going to be uh, filling this thing up here. It's probably going to need, I'm probably going to need three or four of these to make a nice big box of blue uh, blue honeycombs, blue comb, Hawaiian honeycomb, punch comb. But let me hear, let me show you a little bit more about uh, the Bee Smart here. Um, I've never seen anything this kind of shape, but it is, you know, ergonomically pretty cool. Nice grip on it. It has little risers here, so when you put it right over the inner cover, you can put it right over that. Bees can get up and around it. You also don't have to have the risers on, it looks like. If you want to put it directly over the cluster, you will eliminate this space here, this little rise. I'm going to put it on my, I'm going to put it on my B Smart setup down there that just has all the products that I'm, that I'm trying out. Not so much for me, um, just, just for my audience, you know, give you something different to look at. I'm not really sure how much this holds. Let's say, I probably should have looked at that first. Let's see, what's this? This is this is a gallon here. Here's a gallon of punch. So let's let's see how much of this it takes. Mmm, it smells good. I haven't drank anything like this since I was a little kid. How much fits in here? Blue is one of my favorite colors, so this is gonna be cool. Man, that stuff smells good. Hopefully I don't uh, initiate robbing in my yard because this stuff is very fragrant. Oh, look at that. It holds almost the entire gallon. I probably could go ahead and get the rest in here. Just a little bit. It's just it's right there. Right at a gallon. Oh, whew, man, this stuff smells good. Let's put this aside. Has a nice little gasket in there. Keep it from leaking. There we go. From here, I'm gonna cut down to the hive. We're gonna gonna get into it. Give them some of my some of my what are called simple comb comb honey cartridges. It's kind of like a little novel product. Then another thing I'm just messing around with, just messing around. Bought those, paid full price for them. Just gonna see what happens. I'm not gonna really worry about selling them. I'm not selling this blue honey. It's just kind of like, just a novel little play around thing. I just can't wait to hear what you guys are gonna say. So let her rip. See you in a minute. in these bees since probably September or October just to put the lid on and everything for winter. I don't know what I'm getting into right now. It's a little windy. Oh. Alright, so I'm not going to do a full inspection on them right now. They look great. I just want to get this uh, super on. I want to get the feeder on here so I can make me some blue honeycomb. What I have in here is going to be four foundationless frames for, for comb blue honey, comb Hawaiian. 
Hawaiian whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Funny honey. I got one drawn comb, a little bit of wax moth stuff on it, but this will just kind of give them a little ladder to come up here. And then I'm using three of the what are called simple combs. These little cartridges that go in the frames. And it makes these little these little comb honey kind of segments. They look pretty cool, but they're kind of thin. They're very shallow. I'm just trying them out. Like again, again, this is just like a novelty for the hell of it, trying trying things out. Yeah, I'll just put the feeder right on top. I might come back and adjust some things in a day or two, but first I just want to get this on here, get it started. It's going to leak a little bit. This is meant to be used on an inner cover, or it can be used in conjunction with this. It'll fit right over the hole. I'm just doing it kind of just to get it started a while. I definitely don't want them to build a bunch of comb up here in this box, so I'm, I'm going to need to get an inner cover in here. Or just um, something to keep them keep them from coming up too high. We're just gonna see what happens, man. I don't. It's no big deal. I'm just messing around. Yeah, that's pretty simple. I just don't want to leave any gaps. All right, there's no way in up top. If you want to see how this turns out. You know what to do. I'm going to put the update videos under my pinned comment. I'll probably check it in about, I don't know, a week. See what they're doing. But I'll keep filling the feeder up. When something looks really cool, I'm going to do an update. And I'll put it under the pinned comment. So leave a comment there. And you'll get a notification. Or you can just subscribe. You can do it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.